Uh, my name is David Morrison, and I just retired as uh, Assistant Vice Chancellor for Animal and Food Programs at the LSU Ag Center. I grew up on an agricultural research station in central Mississippi. Uh, my dad is an animal scientist, uh, retired, obviously, animal scientist, uh, still around, still has a few cows uh, that he, uh, he uh, deals with at, at age 85 and, uh, in, in central Mississippi. But I, I grew up... Uh, around research from a very young age. Uh, uh, beef cattle research, nutrition, reproduction, pastures and forages type things. And on my master's program, uh, again, this has been a long time ago. I was, uh, I was, I finished a master's in, in 1975 at Kansas State. And uh, there we worked on induced calving, uh, actually. So, so the, the idea was if we knew when cows were going to calve, uh, if they, you know, if we knew their calving date approximately, could we uh, give them some kind of uh, drugs, cause them to calve in a time frame when we knew we could be there. And uh, I really don't think that has caught on very much, but we did some research on, on that to, to uh, using dexamethasone, dexamethasone and prostaglandins uh, in conjunction and, uh, and looked at the effects uh, of that. Also some estro early, early, some of the earlier work with estrosynchronization with synchromate B. Uh, those are things I worked on in my master's program. My PhD program, I worked more on uh, dystocia, calving difficulty uh, in beef cattle. We uh, were, uh, our group were, was the first to use discriminant analysis as a, predictive, as a prediction method to, to try to predict which cows were in fact going to have uh, calving troubles based on pelvic area, calf birth weight, or expected birth weight, uh, other measurements, uh, uh, and uh, did some breed effects. Uh, for calving difficulty, uh, very, a very interesting uh, senior or uh, PhD project for me. I actually took quite a long time to finish a PhD. I, I took a full-time job with the Ag Center after leaving Kansas State and, and just took one course a semester. Uh, so it took me about five and a half years to get the, to get the coursework in because I was working full-time supporting some other uh, project leaders, uh, faculty in the animal science department at LSU. But when I finished there, I did remain in the LSU Ag Center and got a job at, at uh, what is called the Rose Pine Research Station, a little town in west central Louisiana, and uh, worked primarily over there with improving reproductive efficiency and also forage systems development. I actually got a minor in agronomy and a forage crops in agronomy on my PhD program and, and uh, have had an interest in that uh, uh, my whole life, really, from my early age with my dad, but uh, worked in those two areas primarily, and um, I guess one of the things I'm probably, uh, that I enjoyed a lot and, and am most proud of is uh, I had the opportunity to work with uh, several guys on a multi-state research project related to body condition score, and it was our team that was the first to show that uh, in order for first calf heifers to uh, for them to rebreed uh, quickly at a high at a high reproduction rate, they really needed to be at a body condition score of six uh, at calving in order for their postpartum interval to be short and, and for them to rebreed. Uh, previous to that, it had been shown that mature cows needed to be at a body condition score of five. But we were our group was the first to show that heifers really needed to have a little more condition uh, at calving time, and, and uh, I felt like that was a good contribution to to science at, at that time, one, one contribution at least to, to the scientific community at that time. Um, I uh, primarily oversee the research project management. So in the land-grant system uh, all over the U.S., uh, it is connected with uh, USDA, now NIFA, the National Institute of Food and Agriculture. And the land-grant partnership there says that uh, Land-grant universities are the extramural arm of USDA NIFA. And so, uh, whereas ARS is their intramural research arm, uh, the, the land-grant system is the extramural research arm. So, all of the research projects that faculty in all land-grant universities conduct need to be um, governed by, guided by, a, a written approved research project system that is housed at USDA on what is called the Current Research Information System, or CRIS for short. And um, 
I manage that at uh, have have managed that at, at the LSU Ag Center now for a long time, uh, 14 years, and so I ensure that the re review of those projects uh, there's there's rigor uh, in the quality of the science, and uh, that our reporting is in on time, and uh, the progress reports are have good quality to them, and uh, I just generally interact with other than that, just generally interact with commodity groups in the animal arena and uh, have been very fortunate uh, to branch out farther than our livestock animal because in Louisiana, animal has a, a very unique uh, aspect to it in that we have a huge crawfish industry. Those are animals, about 180,000 acres of crawfish in Louisiana. We have a farm-raised alligator industry, which has been very interesting to, uh, to deal with, and, and we're actually building an alligator research facility at, at the LSU Ag Center under our, in our land-grant system. So we have some uniquenesses besides swine, cattle, uh, sheep, and poultry. I guess my, my primary advice for graduate students would be is, is that when you start graduate school, approach it as if it were a job, because it is a job. It's not just a continuation of school, but you are getting paid. If you're on an assistantship, you're getting paid for that. And uh, you need to approach it as if it were a job that you're earning a reputation, you're, you're starting your career and your reputation depends on you doing a good job, being on time, dependable, uh, those things from, from that very early time uh, in graduate school. That's one, that's one thing. Uh, the second thing is I think it's very, in, it's very important as, as a, a new graduate student entering graduate school, particularly if you've changed universities from your BS uh, uh, university, institution where you've earned your BS, uh, is you're going to an MS or a PhD at a different university, to engage in the department, you know, get to know other faculty, uh, get to know other graduate students, network within that department and be a, and be a part. You, uh, I believe in the old adage, adage, you have to be a friend to have a friend. And I think that's very important among graduate students and, and uh, starting out in your career as well.